Hi everyone, this is State Senator Rachel Benzinger. I wanted to reach out to you all today to say thank you. Thank you for nominating me to represent you for another term in the State Senate. In particular, I want to say thank you to everyone who planned and participated in this unprecedented assembly process. Even in these challenging times, you stepped up, you did your part, and you helped to make the process as smooth and as normal as possible. I'm humbled by your steadfast commitment to the democratic process. I'm also grateful to all of the delegates who nominated me to be your state senator for another term. Your enthusiasm will continue to inspire me as we move forward, and I'm honored by your support and your trust. We've accomplished a great deal throughout this past term. We established the Educator Loan Forgiveness Program to help our teacher shortage in Colorado. We secured record amounts of funding for transportation and roads. We developed programs to address affordable housing issues. And every year, we successfully crafted a $33 billion state budget. Your support and advocacy helped me to focus on these goals, rise above party politics, and to see them through to completion. So thank you. In the last four years, I've passed over 50 pieces of bipartisan legislation, addressing the most prominent issues in our state. But there's still much more work to be done. Our schools and our teachers need better funding and support. Our transportation system still requires more robust maintenance. And the cost of housing has skyrocketed. Our senior community is struggling to cope with surging drug prices. And everyone is dealing with the impact of COVID-19. These burdens on our community are unacceptable to me, as I know they are to all of you. So let's keep working. This is why, now, more than ever, we need continuity of strong and effective leadership. I will continue my commitment to be as open and accessible as possible, and I'll keep working to find compromise and solutions. Our campaign will listen to all voices, and we are building an inclusive coalition of people who care about our community. When we do that, we will win the election this fall, and we will be able to continue the work that we've already started. If you'd like to help us, you can visit my website, rachelforcolorado.com. Your dedication and efforts in the past few weeks have reinforced what I already deeply believe, that when we work together, we get things done. I'm proud to be the Democratic nominee for state senator for our district, and I'm excited because if the last few weeks have been any indication, our collective tenacity is enough to overcome any challenge. I want to end by sending out a huge thank you to the many people who've stepped up in our community to help others, whether by continuing to work at your job, taking care of the sick, or even just checking in on your neighbors. Our community response to this public health challenge is nothing less than inspiring. Thank you, stay strong, stay healthy, and God bless.